1949, Porky Pig and Charlie Dog Cartoon. Hawk, what's that? Look, it's the towers! They're falling! Ah! 1963, Wonder Woman comic book cover. 1970, 30 Seconds Over New York, book by Robert Bacard. 1973, Godzilla vs. Megalon, movie poster. 1973, Superman comic. 1975, Cracked magazine cover. 1976, 9-11, a book by Thomas Chastain. 1976, Sesame Street Magazine cover. 1976, Spidey Super Stories comic book cover. 1978, Super Friends TV show, the episode entitled Monolith of Evil. 1978, Dr. John, City Lights album cover. 1979, Meteor, movie poster. 1979, Super Tramp, Breakfast in America album cover. 1979, Saga, Images at Twilight, album cover. 1979, Pakistan International Airlines ad. 1983, Def Leppard, Pyromania, album cover. 1983, a book by Jose Borja. 1985, G.I. Joe, episode 46. You just stand right there, sonny. Look straight ahead and hold still while we scan you. Hey! Transaction approved. Subject's retinal scan matches no known dissident, subversive, or enemy of state on file. Have a nice day. Hey, come back here! This money ain't no good! It's U.S. dollars! Absolutely worthless! 1986, Daredevil comic book cover. 1986, Real Ghostbusters. Season 1, Episode 12. 1986, Dream Machine. There's computers where the resolution is so high that you can never tell that it was ever touched by anything, which raises the whole question of photography as evidence of anything. I don't even think people are aware of how much computer graphics is used today. There's just a whole question now of what is real. Create a new reality by adding an erupting volcano to the San Francisco skyline. or remove the World Trade Center from the New York City skyline. 
1987, The Squeeze movie cover. Nineteen eighty seven, cover of Fortune International magazine. Nineteen eighty eight, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, season two, episode seven. Oh, bad news, Master Splinter. Shredder is up to something, but he ran off before we could discover what. All we know is it had something to do with the Twin Towers. Sooner or later, he will reveal his plan. <laughs> Like, what do you suppose Shredder's up to this time? Yeah, Michelangelo, you heard April's message. He's been spotted on the roof of the World Trade Center. <laughs> it's for sure he's not there for the view. Hey! hey! Oh, is... Hang on! We're gonna cry! 1988, Microsoft Flight Simulator. 1989, WWF. 2019 Jesse Ventura says there's a problem. Explain. Well, you know me, Gene. You get right to the heart of the matter with that question, brother. It's the law of man that's going to supercharge the mega powers and tear down the Twin Towers. Ooh, yeah. This man, what were your thoughts then? Oh, yeah, mean Gene. I can still feel the pain when that cold steel bit into this Elizabeth's wrist right there. And when her muscles were torn, my muscles were yeah. torn. When her bone was bruised right there, I felt the pain. Hulk Hogan felt the pain. And I can still feel the pain right now and Hulk Hogan that pain won't stop until the Twin Towers come crumbling down <laughs> oh yeah right now tonight on prime time yeah 1989 Jason Takes Manhattan movie poster 1991 Terminator 2 1991, Spider-Man comic. 1991, Tetra Star, video game. 1992, King of Monsters, video game. 1992, Rugrats. Season 2, Episode 14. Do you have hair, Cynthia Dog? Of course you do. And if you're a good little girl, a I... A Teenage Nuclear Fusion Squad video game. Well... A Rocco Mr. X Exploding Smash Up Doll. A Beverly Hills Cynthia Lunchbox. A Pony. And a 9-11 Emergency Surgical Kit with Working Stethoscope. 1993, X-Men. Season 1, Episode 12. They want action. They want protection. They want revenge. Mutant control law is passed, calling for an army of sentinels. They march over the nation, seeking out mutants, hunting them down like animals. Surrender, mutants. Some fight back. But not for long. The sentinels herd the surviving mutants into detention camps. The camps are your final stop. You never leave. Never! But those who control the Sentinels don't stop with mutants. Eventually, they bring their new world order to all humans. 1993, Super Mario Bros. 
the movie. Look! It's Kuma's Tower! 1994, Iron Man cartoon, season one, episode five. Unidentified warplane sighted heading for New York City. Our detection system shows nothing. Mayday! Mayday! New York is under attack! Intercept and destroy! A force field is shielding the warplane. It's, it's getting through. It is time. We will now strike at the heart of American defense and destroy the Pentagon with one swift and deadly blow. <laughs> 1994, Arrow Fighter 2 video game. Nineteen ninety four, Fantastic Four, Season One, Episode Four. Nineteen ninety four, Viceland Magazine article. Nineteen ninety four, Friends intro debut. 1994, Deathstroke, The Terminator, comic book cover. 1995, The Tick, Season 1, Episode 12. We are under attack! Things so monstrous! Terror unleashed from the sacred cotton candy place of our dreams! If anyone is out there listening, get out of town before it gets to you! And I'm out of here! 1995, Hackers. 1995, Philips Home Cinema Commercial. Pictures so real you won't believe your eyes. Dolby Prologic surround sound so exciting your eyes won't believe your ears. The ultimate home cinema televisions from Philips, including 100 Hz flicker free pictures and widescreens. Philips, let's make things better. 1995 Illuminati card game. 1996, The Long Kiss Goodnight. 1993, World Trade Center bombing, remember? During the trial, one of the bombers claimed the CIA had advanced knowledge. <laughs> the diplomat who issued the terrorist visa was CIA. It's not unthinkable they paved the way for the bombing purely to justify a budget increase. You're telling me that you're gonna fake some terrorist thing just to scare some money out of Congress? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Hennessy, I have no idea how to fake killing 4,000 people. So we're just gonna have to do it for real. Oh, blame it on the Muslims, naturally. <laughs> then I get my funding. Good night, old girl. 1996. This is a steal from Independence Day, but they show this briefly in the movie. 1997, Men in Black Cartoon, Season 1, Episode 6. Uh, Slim, remember those Twin Towers? Yeah, hey. what about them? I don't think they're gonna be so tall anymore. Oh, no. Nineteen ninety seven, The Simpsons, Season Nine, Episode One. Oh, I'd love to see New York. We could all go with the bus company's special super sitter fare. Nine bucks? This one's on me. Great. And real quick, here's a clip from Season Twenty One, Episode Twenty, which is a continuation after nine eleven. Is this what the framers of the Constitution would want? How many personal freedoms are we willing to give up in the name of security? <laughs> that blonde girl thinks she's smart like us dark hairs. 1997, 
Extreme Ghostbusters, Season 1, Episode 38. I'm afraid it simply retreated in order to regenerate and regroup, ready for another attack. Manhattan! Guys, I think it's time for some serious firepower. 1997, German Mario Bros. comic. Nineteen ninety seven Emergency Response to Terrorism Self Study Nineteen ninety seven Saint John's Cathedral It has a Freemasonic sculpting depicting a disaster in New York. Nineteen ninety eight Armageddon you know why? Because this is New York City. Anything could have happened. Looks at that. Uh, let me see. It could have been a terrorist bomb. Could have been a dead body. Somebody shot stabbed. And it's Friday payday too. Somebody probably jumped and get that paycheck. Nineteen ninety-eight. The Parent Trap. How weird is that? Extremely. Nineteen ninety-eight. A steal from the movie Godzilla. 1998, Pirelli Tires Ad. 1999, Batman Beyond. Season 2, Episode 12. Vibration, it's gonna knock down the towers! Nineteen ninety nine, seven days. The defensive missiles will stay close to the building, so try to stay with them. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, boy, man. Call me in, would ya? Stand by, Nancy. That's it. That's it. Whoa. Hang in tight. That's it? Yes. I'm so good at this. And graphics suck. The best game show body parts blow up and stuff. And you gotta know you won. You know, you gotta have fireworks, buzzers, something, not just game over. I'll see what I can do. Red, let's get this equipment loaded and take our show on the road. Cool. Early reports indicate more than 50 people killed, including many high-ranking officers and several hundred injured. How the missile got through air defenses surrounding the Pentagon is still the subject of much debate. 1999, Fight Club. 1999, The Matrix. 2000, Rugrats in Paris. Two thousand. The Patriot. Nine pounds, eleven ounces, that's perfect, perfect. More like the Patriot Act. Two thousand and one. New York magazine. Interestingly enough, it says, Is there life beyond the boom? Two thousand and two. 
and it also has the one eye symbolism. Two thousand and one, March, the lone gunman. You're saying our government plans to commit a terrorist act against a domestic air. There you go, indicting the entire government as usual. It's a faction, a small faction. For what possible gain? The Cold War's over, John. But with no clear enemy to stockpile against, the arms market's flat. But bring down a fully loaded 727 into the middle of New York City, and you'll find a dozen tin pot dictators all over the world, just clamoring to take responsibility and begging to be smart bombed. I can't believe it. This is about increasing arms sales. Mm -hmm. When? Tonight. Two thousand and one, June, just months before the events took place. The coop party music album cover. There you have it. That was more than sixty instances of nine eleven predictive programming. Simply too many for them all to be coincidences. Also, check out Back to the Future. That movie is loaded with 9-11 symbolism. Also, if you have any other movies um, that I didn't list here, feel free to write them down in the comments. So that's it. I'm going to get out of here. But as always, I'm going to leave you guys with some awesome clips. Uh, and uh, yeah, so share this stuff with your family and friends and try to help wake more people up, man. That's all we could do right now, unfortunately. So this is ODD TV. Thanks for watching. 9-11 all over again. Will you shut up about 9-11? Kyle, why are you so afraid of the truth? Because anybody who thinks 9-11 was a conspiracy is a retard. Butters, do you think 9-11 was just a plot by some angry terrorists, or do you think there was some kind of cover-up? Well, I heard that 9-11 was caused by President Bush. Butters, you don't really believe that, do you? Well, I mean, you never know. The government does some pretty spooky things. The government and the corporations headed by the Jews that carried out 9-11. We are told to believe that the fire from the jet fuel melted the steel framing of the towers, which led to their collapse. But did you know jet fuel doesn't burn at high enough temperature to melt steel? We were told the Pentagon was hit by a hijacked plane as well. But now look at this photo of the Pentagon. The hole is not nearly big enough. And if a plane hit it, where's the rest of the plane? Whoa. I know it seems crazy, but 9-11 was pulled off by our own government, so they could gain support for attacking the Middle East. Dude, why would the government attack its own buildings? It's called the false flag policy. Make it look like the enemy has attacked you. Get all your citizens riled up and waving American flags. Then you're free to invade any country you want. That's retarded. We control everything. We've all worked very hard to keep our involvement in 9-11 a secret. But you just had to keep digging. Really? You won't get away with it. People know. People? You mean sheeple. No way. He was right. You did cause 9-11. Yes. Quite simple to pull off, really. All I had to do was have explosives planted in the base of the towers. Then on 9-11, we pretended like four planes were being hijacked, when really we just rerouted them to Pennsylvania, then flew two military jets in the World Trade Center filled with more explosives and shot down all the witnesses in Flight 93 with an F-15 after blowing up the Pentagon with a cruise missile. It was only the world's most intricate and flawlessly executed plan ever, ever. What you're going to hear from me, you're not going to hear from anybody else because uh, my opinions, well, let's just say they're not popular. 9-11, inside job, plain and simple. All you got to do is connect the dots. And, uh, and I'm not talking about the dots everyone's already heard about. I'm not talking about Bush sitting in that school reading a book about a goat to those kids for seven and a half minutes after he was told the news. Everybody knows that. I am talking about a massive neoconservative government effort 
It's been in the works for over 20 years. You ever hear of PNAC? Project for New American Century? Perhaps. According to them, the end goal of their effort is American global domination. Full spectrum dominance, they call it. Now, the first question that pops to my mind is, how do you pull that off in this day and age? Well, according to them, you do it in four steps. First, we must control the world's oil, especially the oil in Central Asia and the Middle East. Now, I don't have to remind you that Bush Cheney, they came to power with plans already made to attack Afghanistan and Iraq. Number two, we have to make huge technological advances with our armed forces that for some reason include the capability to fight wars from outer space. Number three, surprise, surprise, huge increases in military spending to pay for the above. $130 billion a year worth. Now, never mind the sick and dying first responders, 9-11's heroes, who can't even pay their light bill, let alone their medical bills, and a lot of whom are ending up homeless because of it. I guess there's just not enough room in the budget for them. Number four, and this is key, we change the definition of preemptive attack so we can unilaterally bomb the shit out of, invade, and occupy countries even if they pose no credible threat or had nothing to do with 9-11. One problem. How are you gonna put it into action? I mean, the American people are never gonna go for no shit like that, right? You're damn straight. Now what you need is an event. An event that gets everyone's heads turned around the right way. What you need is a new Pearl Harbor. That's what they said they needed. Now you're looking at a guy who went to 58 funerals in 26 days, I can tell you that is sure as shit what they got. Are you single? You have a shout! You gotta be the bastard, be the loud!